Okay. Uh, please work. Okay, okay, it's working. Finally. We have the preview. We can put it in full screen. Yeah, heck yeah. Okay, okay, so my audio is working. Your audio is working. We have the thing in full screen. Heck yeah. Heck yeah. Okay. And my camera is still not working because it doesn't want to... Right? Put it here. You're going to bug. Please don't bug. Because if you bug, I'm going to be sad. I'm going to cry. Maybe. I'll think about it. Oh my god, it bugged again. Whatever. It's useless. Useless camera. I'm not worthy enough. I should just, just throw, throw you it to out. Side. It's just to deactivate you. Okay. With the stream running though. Oh my god, this is so cute. It is. I'm very much not ready. Are you ready? Is your body ready? I I have not. Like, I woke up like five hours ago and my body refused to go to bed. Okay. I was like, I guess it's as ready as it can be. Uh, hold on. I haven't, like, spamping my friends to join my live stream. Fuck. I need to. Yeah. Can I open YouTube? Yeah, that's better. Fuck, that's not better. Okay, okay, okay. We're live. We're going. Don't touch your mouse. This okay. is Splatsville, in the heart of the Splatlands. Despite its old-fashioned appearance, Damn. it's seen enormous growth in recent years. Can you mute uh, yourself? Because I hear feedback it's also the of the stream. hottest new place for inklings oh. looking for things to do. Uh, oh, hello everyone. Hope you're all staying fresh. Down, almost forgot down. about introductions. Okay, yeah, that should be good. We're the okay. researchers from the yeah, my, Squid my Research Lab. We're simply fascinated by what these inklings can do. They can splat ink in kit form and smoothly swim through it in swim form. Swim form? Been studying their biology day and night. <laughs> Love the pump doors they have. Today, we'd like to share some new findings on these inklings while Please providing go ahead. summaries throughout. Sorry, by the way, if my mouse keeps Of course, keeps what goes moving. for the inklings also applies to the octolings. We're sure of it. First, turf war. Get styling with some fresh fashion and get inking with even fresher weapons. Naturally, Yay. in a place called Splatsville, turf war battles are the locals' favorite pastime. Two teams of four will ink for three minutes. Oh, we got Cyan Blue. The team that inks it's the back most from Sutton One. In other words, claims the most turf wins. Yay. Now, that's not all inking is for. Ink walls to swim up. By the way, keep in mind you're like a few seconds ahead. Ink to splat yeah. So like, if you pop off, I'm gonna be like spoiled. Spoiled by one second. Whoops! If you're out of ink, submerge in it to refill. Yeah. New techniques That's like the squid surge to swim up walls. In oh, okay, so the squid surge is like a charge up. To jump out of ink while simultaneously That's turning around have also been spotted. Yeah, because that squid like bro is going to help me a lot because there have been a from lot of times where it's like, I'm trying to dodge, dodge an enemy um, We've attack discovered and where these turf war battles will take place. Yeah, because you're going to like do some some strafes. Wait, I can't speak while I'm Scorch listening. Gorge. Sorry, it's too hard. Eeltail Alley. Okay, so the maps. I like this one, the Mincemeat and whatever. Spillway. Oh no, seem to be other Underta stages no okay, well. it's Undertown Spillway. It's cool, it's underground. Haggelfish Market. Yo, what? Here filled to the bream with street vendors. Sweet. The stuff oh, that's here cool. looks fishy, though. 
Several stages Music. from Greater In Indianapolis also return. Up and off. Museum Del Foncino. Battles here take oh, place in the central courtyard okay. of this modern museum. Take special note of the rotating wall. Oh, so wall. it's gonna be a lot different. Hammerhead than Bridge. Than first game. Yo, this Hammerhead. Bridge connects Greater yeah. Indianapolis to the Splatlands. After oh, it's white. It's so pretty. It's finally open. Hey. Thanks to the bridge. Yo, hold on. On, on the bottom left, you see, on the UI, it says like where it is. So like that's Mahi, Greater Incopolis. Oh, Mahi Mahi. It's coming back. In greater so like, yeah, you, you're moving to different to the places. Sink as the the battle goes on. There will be more areas to ink afterward, so don't forget to splat. Hey. Well, is gonna be Including happy. the stages you see here, a total of 12 await. Okay. More stages will be added in free post-launch updates. Okay. Wait. Oh, the billing one from the first. Oh, what the? Now let's get into the uh, Egypt, Heights. whatever thing. Yeah, Flounder Hearts. First, I love this map. It appears that all the basic I weapons from previous really games like it, will be available. It's one of my least favorite. On top of that, Ooh, new weapons. specific weapon types, such as the bow-like stringers, <laughs> will make their <laughs> destructive yes. debut. Oh. We've also it's verified a, sword. a new weapon type called Splatanas. Okay, swords. This As you said, is yes. A it has a charge. Send blades of oh, ink flying with a centrifugal force generated by swinging. Okay, down. Swing after charging up a bit. Okay, and I see. So it has a like um, sword beams. Down. I know a friend which is gonna love this because he was like, "Oh yeah, I'm tr I'm gonna try to get into Splatoon even though it's not his type of game." Like katanas? Oh, she's he's surely gonna like this. Let's dive into yeah, the weapons like, that can um, help you claim even like more turns. Less things than special weapons. Special attacks. So it's like the further As away the, the less implies, things. These are special kinds of weapons that can be unleashed that after filling nice. up the gauge from inking turf. Special weapons, okay. There are some new types we've identified, so let's take a closer look. Ooh. This oh, is yo. the tactic oh. cooler. When Tactic it's cooler? Oh, oh, oh that's that's. You'll find in-game beverages stored inside. Oh, These okay. These have a variety of effects, like momentarily increasing speed. Okay. They Interesting. A support. So take one and share yeah. the rest. One for everyone in the team. That's so cool. To make a coordinated push. This I love this. Is the wave breaker. Oh. When activated, oh, it'll is... unleash yeah. waves around the area. Oh, as long as scanning. It'll also mark an opponent's location. Yay. Damage. Damage. Oh Ooh. God. The well-timed jump. Ooh, jumping over. Finally, the reef slider. Build up Shark. Power, then charge into opponents who need a good slap. Once Boom. the attack ends, it'll explode and damage the surrounding area. Familiar special weapons like the Tenta missiles, hey. Ink Jet, Ink Storm. Okay, well, weapons coming back, nice. Ultra Stamp. And Booyah Bomb will also make their grand return. Special weapons are paired with main weapons. So find the combo that suits your splatting style. Oh, shall do. Shop here to get your tentacles on some fresh weapons. Okay. This is Ammo Knights, owned by the chatty horseshoe crab, Sheldon. The locals have praised him for his wealth of weapon wisdom and sophisticated selection. New music is kind of Instead popping of off. using in-game currency for purchases, uh -huh. you'll need these Sheldon licenses. Oh, now everybody's like moving to their own battle. ticket system, like and the by shrimp. consistently okay. using the same weapons. One Sheldon license can be exchanged for one weapon that corresponds to your level. Oh, and just between us? If you exchange more Sheldon licenses than okay, normal, cool. it appears he'll give you a weapon you like sooner than expected as a special reward. Uh, uh. By the way, the Inklings and Octolings walking around town oh, are paper, pretty scissors. savvy about the, their fashion. Is that what you said? Yeah, rock, paper, scissors. Things yeah. like headgear, clothing, and shoes are just as important as weapons to staying fresh in Splatsville.
gear can be obtained in the shops around here. I guess maybe you can rewind like a few Each seconds. One is managed by an interesting yeah, if you want. I can, like, so let's drop in. Go back. Uh, hopefully I can like. This is oh. not couture. Gnarly. Now you'll okay. find an array of hats. Okay, I just masks, yeah, I just went back so you like can a get couple ahead seconds of and the game. same round sink time as you. The laid back Nautilus, gnarly Eddie, and nice. the energetic nails. The snail sitting here run the shop. Nice. This is the clothes boutique, Mana Wardrobe. Yo. It specializes oh my in God. tops, like t-shirts and jackets. The shopkeeper, Jell Lafleur, might be a touch archaic with words, but this jellyfish has a keen eye for fashion sense. And finally, the shoe store crush station. Yo. Oh, a variety geez, big of dude. cool kicks here. Yeah. With sneakers, oh. to sandals, and even leather footwear. Oh my god. It's owned by Mr. Coco. He might look intimidating, but deep down, he's a nice guy. <laughs> Probably. You're more than welcome to pick out gear based on its appearance. But they do come with abilities that can help you out in battle. The Take music. I love all of these example. musics. It can yeah. increase your running speed. Or intensify action. This improves the oh. squid roll and squid surge moves. Damn. There are even more abilities to discover. Plus, there's a fellow okay. in Splatsville who can Yo. swap one ability with another. The new. That's... Talk to Merch here. I don't think you that's can Merch? Hold on. Is that Merch? He's just older? What the fuck? How many years are we going? <laughs> Yo, puberty. And if you save yeah, your favorite gear combinations him as like precious a fits, drop. you can change in a flash. Oh, oh, we can register. Is that with amiibos or like is that? Oh no, okay, we got presets now. We don't need amiibos anymore. That's nice. Thank you. Yes. Because you know, like earlier, you you were forced to use amiibos, but you Welcome actually can Apple buy a, a good a good few yours. ten or twenty. I don't know how many fucking lot there are. Turf war battles aren't the um, only things yeah. that happen here. I think there's you can like also square off in anarchy battles where you can anarchy battle what rankings. Okay, oh, ranks. Active zones Basically. in splat zones. All right, splat zones pass. Ride the tower to the goal in tower control. Okay. Carry the rainmaker to its rainmaker. destination in rainmaker. Or clamlets, my favorite. To score in clam. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, say I mean, it's the hardest because like the, your teammates are trash, but it's very tactical, and I love that. Select Anarchy Battle Series. But if you want to team up with friends, joining Anarchy Battle Open is the way to go. Open. You can also play private battles online. Okay. Set battle okay, modes so we and can other play options to your liking. With friends. Why not play with your favorite Unless battle modes alongside friends? Leads. Okay. Information about these game modes will be available soon on the game's official website. Okay. Now, let's talk about the features within the lobby. Within the what? This oh, okay, so that's the, the training range. range. Try Ooh. out and get comfy with your weapons here. Okay, some Besides moving being targets. Able to practice whenever you want. It's also a great place to get all warmed up while waiting for rivals to join a battle. Can you join a training? Oh, Next yes, up. training while waiting for battles. Oh my god! Online friends will appear as 3D holograms. Holy shit! Yes. So that's why they didn't say test range. Like they said, like it's part of the lobby. You can also join up and start a battle on the same team. Okay. Okay. Oh. So you don't have like to, to wait and, and make a squad first. And they're all in the test room. Yes. I was gonna ask that. Yeah, because uh, I've been playing with my friend with Split Two for like years, and we've been watching this since the first game. Yeah. Recreate recent battles. Oh, that's so good. Wait, wait, can we go? Fucking oh yes. Fast forward. This is so good for content creation. You, okay. Or skip to a certain part. Oh. Or even swap to another player's view. Oh, you kids get Jeez, yes. This is... Oh, my... 
This is incredible. Not only can you yeah, rewatch battles as oh, many times man. as you'd like, but there's even a share feature. We oh. hope you'll use this handy tool to help yes. you rank up. Yes. If I just have like some interesting matches which don't have anything Next, particularly interesting, we'll I'm just uploading the VOD for this backup. Space within the lobby, the locker room. Lock. What? Here, you'll find some fresh what? lockers. One is yours, and the others belong to players with whom you've recently played. Damn. As you can see, you'll be able to place any acquired oh. weapons. Oh yes. Items to your liking. Oh. And, and with physics. And modify cool. your locker's color. Oh my this god. This is more space to express yourself. So customize it however you'd like to show off your. This is so cool for people who love style. like dressing up. Oh my god. Yeah, yeah, the shoe locker. That's oh my god. Yes. I, yes. I know that Items the can be obtained at Hot Landis, a general store on the edge that. of Splatsville. General store? Apparently, the store manager vanishes Ooh. quite often. So oh, it's the girl. By an artist named Army. Army. She used to be a Oh, she's artist. the singer. It's yeah, got an outlandish say, assortment of items. Why not show the store some love by grabbing oh, some so goods? So this is where we get our customized stuff. Yeah. There appear to be plenty of other customization features as well. All right. When battles start, yeah, these okay. splash tags appear. Splash tags? They can be customized with a banner, badge, I, I'm type. happy with this splash tag. Additionally, you can change the emote your character performs when you win a battle. Yeah. Customizable emotes, yes. Oh. This game, okay. This game is becoming a real deal shooter. Like they're like, okay, the first the first game was a test. Second game was refinement of the test. Now we're we're into real shooter territory. Like stuff for splash tags. Like they're even including a fucking dab. If that's not telling you they're trying to hit the mainstream. A new catalog is planned to be released every three months for two years. Yeah. Be sure to snatch up everything you see in each catalog. Within two years, okay. Hey, if they put a battle pass, I'm not even gonna be surprised. I'm not even gonna be mad. There's still a lot of info to share, but I need to take a little breather here. Yeah, where in the meantime, please minutes, turn yeah. your attention towards to this, this trailer or something. Okay, 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 okay. Are you ready? I'm not ready. We're not ready. Introducing Table Turf Battle. Okay. Lay Yo. Your cars for a dazzling deck duel. Okay. Oh. So they're actually going the full mile in there, Make like putting mini games. Charge up power. Jesus. Just like the Witcher had like its entire mini game like this, that they made a full game of. So build your deck and send your rivals packing. Yeah. Okay. Okay. This is crazy. Jesus Christ! Yikes! It's like it's like you know we had like Squid Bits two and like the the jumping game and stuff. Yeah. Now we're like, okay, bro, we're not, we're we're in the big pool, big kids pool. Yeah. Yeah. Battle Dojo in Splatsville. Oh, that's cool. Be on the lookout for more details about Table Turf Battle in the future. Oh my God. And now this. Okay. Oh, Samurai. That's way. Salmon Run is a simple job that requires four players to work together to collect power eggs from the salmonids advancing on them. This part time gig is rumored I, I to be a little fishy, but it pays pretty well. Yeah. By defeating I wonder what like the other, like the heavy version and the light version are gonna look like. Valuable golden eggs. Yeah. Like it's probably gonna be need to collect and deliver plenty of like, golden eggs it's in order to complete slower, this job. But really powerful. Yeah. I do love the This YouTube time around, we've confirmed now. some new types of boss salmonids. So let's share our findings. Boss salmonids. UFO. First up, the Slammon Lake. Yep, UFO. It creates barriers and protects salmonids on the ground. Okay, I'm going as close to it, and it'll oh. attempt to crush you. So approach with caution. Okay, so you gotta bait it so that it falls down on you, and then you you bump on the head. Next, the big shot. It fires heavy projectiles from a distance. Be prepared for powerful shockwaves when they land. 
Okay, again, the shockwave mechanic. That's interesting. Oh, yeah, okay, okay. I know why. Because, like, you know how the um, how each of the Salmonids, boss Salmonids, are trying to replicate one of the special weapons. So, like, that's yeah. why the Big Shot does the wave, because it's trying to replicate one of the new special weapons to teach you. Okay, the big guy. This is uh, one yep. of the new King Salmonids. Unbelievable! It looks like they'll occasionally appear just before you complete the job. Yikes. The tank on your back is a specially provided egg cannon. And it appears that you can fire golden eggs to deal massive damage. Okay, so like trade However, golden eggs. These battles are under a timeline. Oh, so yeah, rack up as much damage as possible game. to drive them back. Oh, and wait, this, what? This is the still being researched big run. We believe this is when Salmonids invade the city in which Icklings and Octolings live. Yo, what? In the city? What? It appears that this event happens once every oh. few months. So brace yourselves! Okay. Is coming. What? The lore implications yeah. stuff. Now, Story mode. Sure Story mode. In the music is gonna pop off even higher. This is actually the entrance Ooh, to the home of the Octarians, the Inkling's longtime enemies. As Agent 3, the newest recruit of the new Squidbeak Splatoon, you'll do battle with the Octarian army, whose members are covered in hair for some reason. Along with your buddy Small Fry, you'll explore many stages, each one full of twists and turns. I almost forgot. Oh, you can launch small fry. Blue is perfect yep. for getting familiar with inking turf and using weapons. Oh. Some newer players might want to try it out. Well, we've come this far. Music. What awaits the inklings and octolings in the end? We hope you can witness the epic finale of this splatastic saga. Yo, cutscenes. We're back yeah, in Splatoon. From here on out, uh, we'd like to talk about Spanish. other features that'll help yeah. you enjoy your splatting escapades even more in the okay, Splatoon the plaza. game. Let's see how big it is. You can post illustrations here. Yes, this it's back. We can draw. They'll be displayed all across the city. Yes, they I, they represented correctly so our level of drawing. And post away. Vertical illustrations Vertical. will also be supported. What? Okay. Additionally, Pretty cool. you can grab food and drinks Aww. that'll help you in battles at the concession stand. Grab and go. Or use local communication yeah. to play with no, nearby crush, folks in your favorite shot. modes at the shoal. Mm -hmm. By using photo mode, you can snap selfies. Didn't we like to use photo mode anywhere? Yeah. Or display them in your not locked down. Too. Oh, we can put photos in our locker. This is oh, the recon cool. guide. We can't. Select okay. your favorite stages at any time and take a stroll oh, yeah, around them. Why not get familiar with each stage prior to battles? I'm going to be doing that before being man. Also, you can choose any stage. This is not the ones that are in rotation. You can use oh, yeah, you're right. You're device. right, because we couldn't before. Yeah. Splatnet 3. Oh. features like checking your latest Ooh. battle stats. Okay. And yeah, ordering so special in-game gear not sold in shops from the Splatnet Is there anything gear shop. super interesting in Splatnet 3? All. Access features like Krusty Sean's Wonder Crust. Support this hey, fellow's journey Sean. using ink Ooh, points challenges. earned depending on the areas you inked during battles. Okay, so that's okay. where he is. Or view history he to take a trip down vacation. memory lane with your past ranks. You can also snag special wallpapers and more for your smart device. Yes. So be sure to grab them. Because I, I can't it just go to Google. It appears that Splatnet 3 will be available at launch via the Nintendo Switch Online mobile app. Yes, the app that nobody uses. Yeah. Next That's up, good. Amiibo figures. Scan Splatoon series Amiibo that at this amiibo. spot in Splatsville. And voila! Saving your favorite gear combinations as fresh as fits will allow you to easily swap outfits. Yes, so the amiibo outfits are coming back. It seems you'll be able to get special gear and even snap photos together with amiibo. Yo, the emotes. Hey. And Splatoon 3 amiibo incoming. Ooh. Ooh. Now that those are some, some sexy amiibos. 
I'm honestly super kidding. high quality. Yeah, I'm getting these in the thing. Now, let's talk about post launch updates. As we mentioned a while ago, right, following the game's launch, a new in game catalog will be released every three months for two years. New weapons will also be added okay. around the same time as each catalog. What does catalog mean again? A catalog of what? Uh, in addition, X Battle, uh, available after attaining an extremely high rank in Anarchy battle. battle, and League Battle, where every two hours you can compete in teams based on your Anarchy okay. Battle results, are planned to be added in future updates. Furthermore, so yeah, that, that thing we're where planning to add large-scale paid DLC. Yo, large-scale paid, paid DLC. More Why are they highlighting uh, um, so uh, Marina and, and uh, now, Pearl? I'd like to wrap up this research yeah. report Why? Squid research lab. Thank Please you explain. Huh? Who are oh. you supposed to be? Oh, the idols! Hey, the idols! Wow! Ooh, shark! Big man in the house. Yeah, what? Okay, what? Oh, Squid. I completely huh. forgot to tell you about Deep Cut. They're an incredibly popular trio who hosts the Splatsville news program, Anarchy Splatcast. They provide information on battle stages, as well as other news bulletins. Okay, I kind of love their look. Yeah, While we're on the like... subject, the youngsters of Splatsville own sea cucumber phones. Okay, you bring the phones. While doing other activities, as shown here. Hey, Yo, so you don't have the thing at the beginning? It's just showing up in the top. Ooh. Oh, a spl splat vest. Splat vest. <laughs> the music. I love like their musical style. Yeah. It's like kind of traditional. Oh my god. It's been confirmed that Splatfests will make a return. <laughs> Obviously, they will. In these events, you pick a team based on the announced theme, then settle the outcome. They're doing the Macarena. <laughs> they are. And this time around, there will be three teams to choose from. Splatfest three teams? Of two halves. What? In the first half, teams will compete in 4v4 turf war battles. Oh, the second okay, half, I see. Is a tricolor turf war. What? It's a special mode where, whoa, three teams fight at the same time. Whoa, okay, that's definitely gonna spice up the the first place will turf war formula. Of the stage. Two 
players each from the second and third place teams will attack the first place team from oh, opposite ends. Okay. Can the leading team oh, defend okay, themselves? So or will the other two teams, teams exact easy. revenge and force them out? Use the ultra signal to control so the battle and is contribute to the strategy while working alongside the members of Deep Cut. Oh, okay. In the in the attacking teams okay. have um, some helper things. With an announcement yeah. From Deep Cut. Take it away. Okay, it's like oh, we're gonna end the stream. No, frick you. We've got like one, two, three, five announcements. She's like a vampire. She's got like teeth. Splatfest world premiere. It's Splatfest. Oh, early this month. So like on the twenty seventh, we have like a sort of uh, death fire. Yeah, yeah. It's, uh, okay. It's the same, it's kind of like the same with the second Nice. Okay, rock, paper, scissors, okay, okay. Paper, scissors, oh my god. Oh, that's amazing. So it's like, are you rock, are you paper, or are you scissors? I always win when I have scissors. I think I'm gonna pick, uh, paper. I love these three already. I'm surprised that like the one with the sharp teeth didn't choose scissors. I mean, I guess you can you can get cuts from paper. That works. He burns on May face. I'm bad to see paper. Oh. It's later. That's all we have to share today. Or not. Uh, what? And now announcing. That, that was a solid three, third game. Enter the Splatlands Invitational 2022 Tournament. Darn. This event will take place on That's September West. 5th at PAX West. Yeah. Some of the top finishers from So many one more thing announcements. What the heck? Head to Seattle and compete in North <gasps> America's I saw the weapon. A weapon had like a sort of Follow the uh, official Nintendo thing. I don't know how to explain. Twitter account for updates. And to see more of our research findings and it's like data, it's like a salad bowl, you know, but North you have American like it's filled Twitter. with some sort of um, sea shells just September to make it pretty. Bye -bye. And it's like it was the nozzle was like this on the weapon. Okay. That was really like announcements. Yeah. The only thing I wanted was that you get to start with your friends before turf four. Yeah. That's all I wanted. They show off even more. Is that? Because it's uh, like if they already joined, like you can join them. They had to, like you had. Oh, it was so annoying. Yeah, you. Yeah, if you are joining a friend, you have to. It's a real big boy game oh. now. It's a real big boy game. Ah. Uh. And replays. Oh my god, replays. That's only in the like cream of the crop shooters. Yeah. Like that's in Halo down, and um, down, Halo, like and that's all. <laughs> Do you wanna have a good shooter with replays so that you make it, can make content? Play Halo or Splatoon. That's all. The two best shooters. Wait, do you need to play other shooters? <laughs> yeah, a lot of people go like, oh, oh, Splatoon's not the best shooter. It's Call of Duty. It's like, shut up. <laughs> it's like, are you? Do you know how popular Splatoon has been getting? As of late. Yeah, especially in Japan, it's super popular. Uh-huh. 
Yeah, it's like, why well, it has not been popular in the States? It's like super popular in Japan. Mm. And plus, with it being on Switch, it's even more popular. Yeah, exactly. The Switch effect. Uh, I'm hyped. I'm super hyped, especially because like, okay, I want to make like content and stuff, and and like, I'm I'm gonna be sweating in this game a lot, and so like having the ability to see my replays, that's kind of big for me to just, because I won't have the stress of like having to have OBS running. I could just like plop a few matches with no worries, knowing that the matches are are recorded and that everything is yeah. here. It's safe. I can look at it back, see if anything was interesting. And just like learn from it and become a better player, because I'm big on you competitive. Learn from your, your own mistakes. Yeah. And if I hit I a sick clip, then bam, just fire out OBS later, maybe two days later, whatever, and bam. I'm gonna say this now with that sword weapon. It's like, I think that's gonna be my sixth main because, um, in Splatoon two, I use the Heavy Splatting Remus, Cosmos Jr., uh, one of the NZAPs, Dually Squelchers. Uh, actually, that's going to be my fifth then. Because yeah. I don't have a sis. I wonder like how different uh, the, um, uh, the swords are, like how different they're going to feel from uh, uh, brushes yes, yeah. and rollers. Because I didn't really see too much of a difference. They felt a bit weaker, but also felt a bit faster. Yeah, it doesn't look like it's like going to turn around butt mashing like the brushes do. Yeah, it's it's like it's it seemed to me like it was kind of as weak as the um, as the um, brush, the ink brush, but it was kind of uh it had some range to, to combat that. Yeah. But I don't know. It's it's we're gonna have to see with the other weapon variations, you know, to have a range of what it can do, of what this class can do, and how this range differs from the range of the rollers slash brushes. Rollers and the brushes, yeah. Because it's a single range, those two. So that's because to me, for now, it just seems like an extension, kind of. Yeah, but, uh, but I we're am gonna see on how like the other variants of the sword will be like yeah yeah super especially for the heavy ones because i'm i'm sure like my friend because i didn't even read chat because i couldn't read chat because uh, i have no. only one monitor right now but like he sent messages he said he said katanas <laughs> so yeah he's pretty hyped so and, and i'm sure he love like to have a very heavy one if he if there is one in the game so yeah and he said also that he loved the lockers. I wonder, like, yeah, I'm I'm sorry that without the catch by station. Yeah, cause cause okay, earlier like a few like before the stream started, I saw a tweet of someone like, oh, I'm I'm I wonder if like all the gear is gonna be back and I'm gonna be able to make my inkling again, cause that's a big thing, you know. I I'm. I, I, yeah, I, a bit competitive, yeah. so I use the gear for the perks, you know, and I pick like wild clothing options just so that I have something that gives me good perks. Um, but some people are just like, oh, the clothing looks good. Because, like, well, I, the. Okay, so fun fact this game is made by the same developers as um, Animal Crossing. So, like, you know, the attention to detail, all the clothing you have, all the, the sound detail to when you, the footsteps and the grass and on the wood and the stuff that's the same it's the same thing at nintendo who's making it so that's why you have so much clothing and so much like attention to detail and the sounds of the ink and stuff like this because it's the theme that's not that usually doesn't make competitive stuff it's the team that makes like stuff with customization and that's why Splatoon has that vibe and so yeah. yeah people who like that kind of vibe who like animal crossing find their feel in there and the fact that I saw a tweet like, oh, I hope I'm going to find all my gear going to be able to make my inkling again. And so the lookers is going to be perfect for those kinds of people. And that's cool. And so I know my friend who loves katanas. Also, he said he loved the lockers because he loves customizing. Yeah, I do love how much customization they have done in M Crossing. They're going to carry that over. Yeah. I'm happy that um, everyone's going to be happy. Yeah. Yeah, it feels like this game is just 
going to be good for everyone. Yeah. Including that one uh, card. Like, if you're, if you're open-minded... It- and and you're not like oh it's a squid game it's for kids and whatever then you're you're gonna probably find some enjoyment in it. But yeah and and okay so so also another fun fact you know when whenever you go into the test fire whatever uh, yeah, that, when you test the stages basically um, before playing them through the recon mode so I went in the recon mode in Splatoon two and like I noticed that you have a different footstep sounds for. Each of the materials you step on and I was like yeah okay that's very cool why did you spend the time doing it though since we're gonna be on ink most of the time it's so cool that you have I wish yeah, there was more detail. time you yeah. could just walk with your feet so yeah very hype no questions asked very, I'm gonna buy very. it I'm just, I'm just Vegeta from um, team from Jambo Z abrish. I'm the hype. <laughs> uh. Yeah, my friend is like, yeah, I'm happy to join the community. I'm a customization man. Yeah, I'm so happy. My my, my friend, even though he's not excited for the game, I am. That's one thing he wanted was um joining a friend before turf war. Yeah, and the I'm lobby. pretty sure with the, with the sword weapon on, that's gonna make him excited. Yeah, cause even even, yeah, like I I also play Smash a lot, and like its lobby options are really like, kind of how fast you have like okay you're you're in the um, you have the trade like the, the bots when you wait for a match or like you could technically do the sort of. Uh, where you load a match in the background, and then you can load whatever mode you want. But like, it's gonna be interrupted every five seconds anyway, so it's not very practical. But like, ha- seeing people in the lobby—that's what all the good online fighting games and stuff do. Not not so much not so much shooters actually, because usually you have ma- menus, very standard, very basic. Maybe you have a lobby where you can invite friends, you know, in your standard battle royale you have the menu you have your teammates on the side uh but you don't see a lot of shooters where you're all in the same spot doing stuff kind of whereas like fighting games usually you have a sort of lobby where you see your character which you can customize uh which is kind of separate from the characters of the fighting game and then you can like just move basic movement basic interaction but here in splatoon they're going the full mind they're like oh shooters we're gonna do better than them fighting games we're gonna do better than them so like you can fully interact and shoot at the in the testing range with your teammates which you can see and you can fully customize your avatar because it's the same as avatar is in game so that's it's just perfect yes i that's really exciting and and if you don't want to shoot or like train etc and you just want to spend time you can just go to the lockers and see others lockers are customized like t- holy sh- freak so good and I'm, I'm pretty sure like in the lockers you could like see other people's gear and maybe like order it from there because that would be cool yeah that's what it looks like you get to see other people's lockers like probably your friends yeah Oh, and, and okay, okay, I know why the lockers are going to be so good, because you know, uh, before, like, whenever you had matches with people, um, you were, um, like, if you wanted their gear from, you saw them in the match, you were like, oh, they're super cool, I want their gear, so, like, you had to stop the match and go back to the to the plaza, and you'd see them in the plaza hanging out after the matches, but if you did too, yeah. ma- too many matches, you wouldn't see them, maybe, it's so, like, here you could have more more lockers, I guess, or like, I mean, I guess they won't put their clothes yes. that they're wearing necessarily. Mm-hmm. But you could have like another yeah. way to see the gear of people that you interacted with in the matches, and maybe oh, I like his style, and then you see the the style he put in the locker, like maybe more clothes that you didn't know about and you want to order for merch. Merch. He really he really changed. <laughs> it's like. I- are we, are we going? I, I was like, uh, who's that? He looks familiar with the one eye. I was like, oh, oh, fuck, that's merch. Damn. Yeah, I, I was going like, that's a spike. I don't know if that's merch. And they're like, it's merch. I'm like, I'm sorry, what? 
<laughs> That's so cool. Honestly, so cool. Yeah, it's like the pyramid train. The pyramid... Yeah, because every, everyone's kind of the same, except him. It's like, it's really like puberty. <laughs> Maybe the... Why are there species urchins? <laughs> I think probably the urchins just age faster than all the other species. Yeah. That's cool. That they can, like, be creative with the... You know, it's not a realistic game and that's cool because they can pull from many different things and just get inspired to do some wacky stuff fun stuff yeah i know they also didn't show for the inkling optimism but they also have big customizations with like their skin tone eye color yeah eyebrows now and their hair yeah. it's like that's really cool so much stuff i love it i want it now, not now, because I mean, I I'm fine with waiting a little bit more to like, to to have the hype, be yeah. I I don't know what what I mean to say, but it's it's cool. I'm hyped to be in the future, I uh, and I can wait, and I'll be waiting patiently and very hype all throughout. We only got one month to go. Yep, and that's gonna be a very sweet month. I'm going to try to prepare a lot of Splatoon content, uh, lots of ideas, and uh, maybe get the language going, because, uh, yeah, so that's that's a thing we're trying to make. Um, so, yeah, quick quick update on the language. So, like, everyone's kind of, prefer, like, they they're kind of prefer working on the Octarian language, because um, we have, like, multiple things going on. And so there was this inkling language uh, going on at one point, but then like I didn't get answers from uh, the other people on the server because like people go AWOL for some time because you know life happens. Uh, so I'm like, okay, I'm gonna try to do it, even though I have like zero experience, and that maybe because I have zero experience is gonna be easier for people to learn it. I guess I figure. We're gonna we're gonna see. I hope I'm gonna make it in time. I'm gonna have like some stuff ready, and so. If you want to help out with some art, with some stuff, because you do SFM, and um, yeah. so like shout outs to Twitter, I don't recall the name, uh, maybe you want to plug it in the chat if you can, but whatever, you do you do yourself, and uh, if you want to help out with uh, art, that would be super cool, if you want to just help me like set up uh, SFM on my computer, because I... I have a lot of experience in Blender, but like I fire up SFM and I'm lost. I'm I'm so lost. I don't know yeah. how to animate stuff. I'm bamboozled, but I'm kind of good yeah, at I animating. SFM is like Blender. It's like you gotta read up a lot of guys and see yeah. and just experiment with things because it's it's, it's less of a um, of an animate. It's less of a three D engine and it's more like of a like movie making tool in a game engine kind of mashed yeah. up really weird so that's the thing yeah, you can load maps you can load character models and they're all like working great together uh but then yeah, i don't know I... how to actually animate I've, I've never got any sort of movement going with the character and the limbs so yeah kind of a struggle here I wish there was like a good rig for Blender, but nobody made a rig for Blender. They just keep straight to SFM. <laughs> I don't get it. Yeah. Like, uh, as I said, I started Swords Filmmaker like seven years ago and it, it started out pretty crappy. Yeah. But then it's like I learned, I, I experimented with things and I seen new models and it's like I use as much as I could. Because mm -hmm. I wonder, because oftentimes, personally, and I know, I don't know if it's just me or like, uh, but I feel like SFM, to me, feels lower quality than other animations. Like, there are more stuff, obviously, because it's easy to get access to models and, and stuff. But whenever I find something that is not SFM or that is specifically Blender, you know, I'm expecting it to be more qualitative to the person would have more tools to play with you know the lighting etc and like the base engine sfm the lighting is not like it's kind of bugged it's not quite accurate but whatever we're kind of getting off topic now but yeah so i, I was just wondering like maybe it's s it's not because 
people are bad, but maybe just because SFM is kind of holding them back. That's what I'm thinking in my, in my head. Small theory. I don't know. Uh, anyways, thank you for tuning in. That was super nice. Derek was uh -huh. super cool. Uh, I don't think there was many viewers. I mean, it tells me three viewers. So, okay, cool. Thank you to the silent viewers who didn't chat. And uh, see you some other time. Hopefully, I get my monitor real soon and I can start streaming Splatoon again. Because that is, uh, yep, maybe gonna do some Splatoon 2 matches before Splatoon 3 comes out. And uh, I'm gonna wait until like the, the test fire to do more Splatoon because it's like I'm waiting until 3 comes out to play more Splatoon, yeah. Yeah, and when the test fire comes out and when game comes out, I'm going to do, uh, I'm going back on let's play because I haven't done a let's play in over probably two years because oh, yeah. people haven't really been watching them, so I lost motivation. But now with Split to 3, it's that I want to go back on that because I've done Split to 1, I've done Split to 2, I should do 3. You know, honestly, let me just give you a tip. Don't expect people to watch. Honestly, that shouldn't be your goal. If you have friends, just make it for them. Just because it's it's easier. You know how people often say like in when you make content, you shouldn't like try to hit the algorithm or whatever. You just you should just be yourself. And honestly, the more I look at people who are doing stuff that I'm interested in on YouTube and, and whatever, I'm finding that the people I'm more more interested in are the people who are genuine. And it's like it's easier to just to just be yourself and try to share with your friends to have like some easy motivation. You don't have to do anything special. You don't have to share it with a ton of people, just the ones you're interested in. And it's just going to catch up as, as you produce more content because it's easier to make for you because you're not forcing yourself to be a completely other person is going to just be way easier. The quality is going to show up. And, and not everyone is going to like you, obviously, because people have opinions, people have... But it's fine. One thing I've learned is you're always going to be someone's enemy and someone's friend. It's always going to be yeah. a fair split. It's just a matter of... of and, and you know, right. you know, it's like a, a sample size. You know how people, when they do tests, like they do um, polls or whatever, it's like the first few, it's not going to be balanced. But as you increase the number of people that go through your content... You're gonna you're gonna see that it's uh, uh, it ends up being an equal m number of people who like it and who don't like it. So it's just a matter of waiting, waiting it out. Even if you go through some very bad stuff in the beginning or very good stuff, it's gonna equalize. Just be yourself. Just share with your friends, and do what you like. You know, yeah. the, your 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 first and most important viewer is yourself. Because if you're not happy with your content then you're not going to make it at all. And then nobody's going to be another viewer. So you're, the first viewer you should please is yourself. That's an advice I give to a lot of my friends. Is like your most important friend is yourself. Just care about yourself. Don't care about relationships or whatever. You are your most important friend. You should do stuff that pleases yourself. So yeah. Okay, I guess, I guess that's a good note to end it on. Um, thank you for joining everybody on the Twitch stream. And, uh, and see you next time. Bye. Don't forget to subscribe if you liked it. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.